Mila Senov is a sophomore student in the patient care program at Kirkland Ranch Academy of Innovation, who, like many, aspires to leap her way into the medical field once she graduates. I'm hoping one day to become a primary care physician, but I'm planning to just go to medical school and figure it out from there. The reason she wants to work such a competitive job stems from a small country in Eastern Europe called Bulgaria, with a population of just under 7 million according to the CIA World Factbook. Her family comes from this country and both Amila's grandmas passed away due to misdiagnosis and poor health care. She was on like really, because she never got her back fixed, right, because they did surgery on the wrong part of her. She was on really strong pain medication because she couldn't take the pain of her back being injured like that. and. The pain medication ended up giving her, like, memory issues. Her parents didn't have it easy either in Bulgaria, typically living paycheck to paycheck. She's trying to take these hardships and turn them into motivation for the future. Ms. Celez, Mila's patient care teacher, is a strong advocate for Mila's success and believes she will go far in her studies. I definitely could see her as a surgeon or doctor, again, because of how hard she works. She's very dedicated. Um, very determined. To keep herself busy, Mila participates in various activities. She's the president of SGA, vice president of NHS, and spends her free time volunteering at Advent Health. Despite her complex schedule, she still finds moments to talk to her friends who all echo the same remarks of her kind-hearted attitude and potential in her career. With like her friends, her relationship with them, she's always really kind and she like is really attentive. So if she's like that with like even strangers, I'm pretty sure that in the medical field, she's going to be the same way. Having such a unique culture can make it difficult for others to understand the differences between their family and Mila's. One variation she found most notable was Christmas. According to Ryan McMacken, who graduated with a master's degree in public policy, finance, and international relations from the University of Colorado, countries a part of the Soviet Union, including Bulgaria, were forbidden from celebrating Christian holidays. When they celebrated Christmas, they celebrated it on New Year's because they were allowed to celebrate New Year's, but they weren't allowed to celebrate Christmas. So sometimes we give gifts on New Year's just because that's how she's always done it her entire life. Despite her troubled heritage, Mila has always found it easier to look at the bright side of things and to push herself to be the best she can. They, they did what they could with the resources they were given, so now I want to take what they've given me and just go from there and go even farther. This has been Kate Francisco, Navigator News.